Hey again. So, um, I know I just recorded a video, but uh, I just came from interacting with my father, and uh, I know my hair is messy. I just brushed it, and I was going to the shower, but when I brush my hair, it looks all like this, like a lion mane or something. So that's why it looks like this. Um, uh, and you can see the fingers were just run through it. But uh, yeah, the more I brush it, the worse it looks. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I just came here to record another video because it's been hard. And you can see my arc circles and stuff. These two weeks have been really hard. I've been de dealing with lots of bullying, not only online, but family problems. And uh, <clears throat> part of it is due to my religious beliefs. And my family is not acceptant of... Um, well, first they were not acceptant of my atheism. <laughs> they did. They even called me satanic that I had no soul and whatsoever. Uh, they are not reacting so well to my conversion to Judaism, and um, especially my mother. <laughs> she's Catholic and she's so keen on religion and. My father isn't very supportive either, <laughs> and uh, he is angry because I haven't been eating um, for the past two weeks. But, and uh, you know, I eat, I just don't eat what they want me to eat, and uh, it's hard. So today, I went to have breakfast because I haven't eaten. I, I, been buying my own food and stuff to avoid going there, temptation and stuff. Um, but you know what? I decided you know to, today I want to cook something, and so I went there, and I went into the fridge. There was a stack of bacon <laughs> and uh, chorizo and presunto and all those pork preserves. And there was cheese, but very cleverly hidden, so that I wouldn't find it, and that I had to see bacon. And bacon used to be one of the things that I love to eat, um, even raw um, bacon. Um, but uh, yeah, and uh, my father noticed that, and he has been buying more bacon than usual. <laughs> And uh, he noticed that I haven't touched any. And, um, well, I'm not even going to talk about my mother because she's completely, she's sending me messages, very anti-Semitic messages. Uh, I can't even begin to deal with it. But it's like everyone is trying to boycott my kosher diet. Um... And uh, my father is just like I was. I went there today, I, a few minutes ago, and it just said that I I need to go to a psychiatrist uh, to an insane asylum because I don't want to eat pork. And um, actually, I feel disgusted now looking at it. Um, it's not that I don't like it, but I just I don't know for whatever reason. I started looking at it and it kind of disgusted me. And uh, so yeah, it's everyone's trying to boycott and saying that I have an eating disorder, that I am mentally ill or something. <sighs> it's hard. And uh, then there's the accusations of me being Islamic, uh, terrorist, stuff like that. They don't understand the difference between uh, Judaism and Islamism and uh, that, it's been rough. It's been rough, and uh, my mother sometimes pretends she accepts it, and then she goes on a anti-Semitic rant that I, I won't even describe. It's it's just plain cruel nonsense. Uh, so yeah, 
um, the emotional part. In, it's like I I mentioned how easy it was to avoid the, the, the to avoid eating stuff because I, I don't miss I don't crave that that stuff either. But the emotional part, it's been hard. I've been crying almost every day. Uh, I have no acceptance. And, uh, you know, uh, there are people who are nice but still mock me and make fun of it. And uh, It's not easy. And uh, there is the lack of acceptance. There, there is the bullying. There is the... There, there's just a lot of cruel stuff that I, I've been dealing with, and I, I wasn't expecting this, you know. Uh, of course, I expected anti-Semitism online, because even before converting, I dealt with that people calling me Jew and calling me all that stuff, even before I embraced Judaism. But from the family, never expected so much you know, so much uh, hate, so much, I don't know, it's it's weird. Um, and then there's an attempt at boycotting. Uh, <coughs> um, they tried to force feed me anything, pork, sausages, bacon. <sighs> it's, it's, it's frustrating because, like, my brother doesn't, want to eat beef and they don't force feed it to him and uh, for whatever reason I'm forced to you know <sighs> and I'm considered crazy for not wanting to I don't know uh, this is just uh, <coughs> I'm sorry uh, this is just to say that it's not easy to you know a uh, family is probably not going to accept uh, if you're trying to make these kinds of changes. <coughs> and um, I need to do something. Um, so yeah, this is not an easy path. Um, in terms of faith, it's not easy either because there isn't much support in my country. I tried to reach out to the, to Chabad, but uh, there weren't many conditions, and I'm sorry, I need to pause this because I'm going to... So yeah, I don't, I don't think uh, Chabad has many conditions to deal with converts. They're mainly here to deal with people who are already Jewish. Um, so yeah, that's there. That's another extra difficulty. Difficulty. I've been trying to stay observant as much as possible, because before you can convert, you need a full year of Jewish holidays, observancy, and stuff like that. And it's not easy. And um, there is a community in Belmont, uh, which is aided by the the Shave Israel. And uh, I know they do help, uh, you know, Anusims and other Jewish descent people, which may be my case because I, I come from a city with a, <clears throat> a history of Jewish um, community. And uh, there was a time that a, a large percentage of the population, 40 to 60 percent of this city's population was actually Jewish. So there's a, a very high likelihood that I may descend from Jewish, uh, you know, converts to Christianity. Uh, although it's not a certainty and stuff. But there is that Shave Israel organization that helps people go back to Judaism. Although I'm a little reluctant because I don't know whether they they how how whether they test you enough your to test your resolve whether you, you know how much uh, observancy they they defend and stuff like that so yeah and I've seen in one of their pictures a woman with a kippa so I was like mm, mm, doesn't seem 
But yeah, I'm hoping that they are more orthodox leaning um, in terms of Judaism. I'm not sure. Uh, regard <clears throat> regardless of that, it's the only rabbi that seems to be specializing in conversion. He's not even in Portugal, I think. I think he's in Spain, but he helps both the Portuguese and uh, Spanish community. And I, I'm go I tried to reach out to him, but uh, I contacted the organization and they told, they gave me his email, email to contact him. Um, I need to do that. <laughs> I'm just a little ashamed, uh, but I've been doing my best. I've been learning a lot from Chabad. I've been learning a lot, you know. I have uh, I some um, apps in my smartphone, the Tanya and uh yeah stuff like this but it's it's hard there is no kosher food available uh there is no you know there's no community <clears throat> there are still jews in my city but they're not organized so it's a little hard to live amidst atheists christians and all that nonsense and have no acceptance in most parts. There were a few people that did um, react positively to it, but uh, I think only two people reacted positively to it. So I don't know. It may be hard, but it is worth it. I just wanted to say that if anyone finds himself in a situation where a family is not helping, um, you know, just reach out online. There, <clears throat> there have been amazing Jewish um, Israelis that have been helping me online. I've been talking to a few of them on Twitter. Um, they're great people. They will help you out. Even if they don't help you out, they have usually great, you know, information. There are great blogs. Uh, just don't go on the reform and uh, conservative nonsense. Try to go for orthodox and, <clears throat> you know, more Chabad style um, things. Uh, because there's a lot of misinformation there. And <laughs> trust me, um, you don't, if it's like, if you're a convert and, and um, you want to be Jewish, but you don't want to follow the, the Alaha, you don't want to... It's like, come on, you're just seeking Christianity in a different version, but yeah, it's, it's just... And I've been kicked out of a conversion a group on YouTube because they were more reform... Uh, Jews and uh, they disliked because uh, sometimes there were people look wanting more observance and that's that's one thing. Do not join non-orthodox conversion groups on Facebook because they will try to discourage you from converting orthodox or if they recommend they recommend you. And I've seen it. There's even one that has MS. There, um, she she just wants um, to go Orthodox so that she can make Aliyah to Israel <coughs> because she converted, I think, to conservative or reform, and she can't make Aliyah with the same rights. And so she she's converting to Orthodox uh, for uh, you know. Uh, inappropriate reasons, and some of them will recommend you to recommend or ortho, um, convert orthodox, but follow reform after that. So there's a lot of deceit being taught there. Um, I don't like that environment, and they discourage you from becoming, you know, really following orthodox Judaism. They discourage you, and if there is someone looking into be more observant and you happen to re recommend Chabad or, you know, Orthodox Judaism, they will just bully you and kick you out. So, yeah, not a good group. Um, I know that there's an Orthodox group. 
not very active, so my recommendation would be, you know, just go to Chabad, just uh, go to Twitter, there are great people there. <coughs> the Facebook groups are not worth it. Um, they're mainly there to send you to reform and conservative schools, and they, they don't care about real Judaism. They, they even, you know, you have people there collecting uh, menorahs, you have people there collecting stuff, you have women collecting kippahs and talits and, um, you know, male, male, male stuff, they, they, they defend stuff that is not proper for, um, you know, it's like they refuse all the Allaha referring to women and they, they want what men have. It's, it's like, it's not really about faith. It's more about political correctness and um, um, soci social justice. Um, so I was disappointed in that group. And uh, <clears throat> I was about to leave that group. And uh, I just posted one comment one comment saying to someone who wanted to be more observant uh you know you should check Chabad and uh orthodox judaism and they, they just said you know it's not okay and they kicked me out <laughs> but i don't care so so yeah even within convert uh, convert communities you may not find that support so the best thing is to uh, reach out to <coughs> to the um, you know to Chabad to communities of Jews of with the kind of observance that you seek. Um, I think those convert groups are monitored most likely by Reform rabbis and stuff, and they. They do make sure to kick out every single Orthodox convert. Um, and I should have been uh, wary of their main post saying that they had problems with Orthodox before. Uh, but yeah, I just thought, you know what, maybe it was some extreme one or something. No, it's not extreme one. They, they, just, they should just discriminate about... Re against real Judaism. They don't want people to be observant. They don't want they don't want the Torah. They just want I don't know what. Uh so yeah, and I'm sorry I'm complaining. These are some difficult difficulties that I have been facing. Although there is a silver lining. Uh people on Twitter <coughs> are really helpful are really nice. Uh, there are even people that do post parts of the Torah. There are rabbis that have great advice and videos. YouTube has great rabbis. Um, I will make... Uh, I'm, I'm making a web page soon. Uh, I used to have a website, but... Uh, um, used to be a free website, so... The, the community closed it, so now I need to search a new web host. But I, I will make a new website and try to put links um, to helpful resources and places that are safe. Because even uh, some places that appear okay in terms of teaching you stuff, and there was a site that I used to like, which was my Jewish learning, and then I've seen, it's like... I ceased to completely go there um, because um, they were promoting changes the brachas of marriage to fit LGBT and changing the meanings. Uh, it's complete nonsense. And also promoting transgen transgender children, which is something that no, not only goes against the Yalaha, it's something that goes against my values because children have no business in thinking about transitioning 
or whatever, their children, they're too young to, to even consider, you know, anything about gender. So, yeah, I completely crossed that website off my, you know, learning resources. So, yeah, uh, websites that I recommend, Chabad.org, um, I think it's my GLE.com. I think it's also a Chabad website, I'm not sure. <coughs> then there's a great YouTube channel, Online online Smirche. It's it's great, it's a great channel. Um, there are other websites. Um, uh, then you have uh, Art Sheva also posts um, some parts about uh, from some lectures from Rabbi that are really really interesting um i don't know there are quite a lot of resources you can you know you can learn from uh so i do recommend <clears throat> that you uh, look for the more and i'm not going to say conservative because conservative here is a misnomer misnomer it's just a reform under a new label um, so I'm going to say seek out Orthodox sources, um, seek out Chabad, seek out stuff that is really going to help you stay focused and, you know, be closer to God and closer to real, you know, to real observance. The other websites, they... They try to paint a um, picture of uh, authenticity, but then little by little, they try to sway you away from observance. I've even seen, and, and this one is from Reform Judaism, promoting um, eating non-kosher food. Um, that's weird a rabbi um that promotes bacon and stuff like that it's really gross um so yeah you need to be careful with the sources you learn from there's a lot of misinformation out there and uh, it i've been blessed that i tend to be able to find the, the um, misinformation but I was also victim to the website My Jewish Learning until I saw those two articles and I had to relearn some things. But um, yeah, so that's it. Goodbye and uh, thanks for listening to me. And I know I'm all over the place from family to misinformation on the internet. Uh, but yeah, that's that's about what I had to say today and thanks for hearing me and I hope you are more luckier than me and um, I think I'm going to post some links in the description box make sure to check them out they're great and uh, bye bye